What's up guys, my name is Omar and today's topic is body image. So body image. Body image is defined as how you see yourself when you look in the mirror or how you see yourself when you picture yourself in your mind. Now there's two types of body image. There's negative body image and then there's positive body image. Now what I'll be discussing today is negative body image. Uh, what may cause it, uh, what problems that can be associated with it, and also ways to kind of combat it so we can develop a positive body image. So what are the things that cause us to have a negative body image? The first thing is the obvious one. It's all the media that we consume. Now the majority of people that we see in movies, television, social media, they all kind of fit a particular mold of what's seen as beautiful or handsome. Most of the women that we see, they'll have flat stomachs, perky breasts, a thigh gap, um, and what's relatively a new phenomenon, at, at least in mainstream media, is the Brazilian style butt. All the men we see are tall, have six pack abs and broad shoulders. And when we constantly associate these images with what it means to be beautiful or handsome, we internalize it and it causes us to have unrealistic expectations for ourselves and how we're supposed to look and for others. Another reason why we may have a negative body image is because of influences from our family, our friends, or our culture. The standards of beauty that they hold and project onto others can cause us to kind of subconsciously hold onto those same views and affect how we view ourselves and how we view other people too. Having a negative body image can come with a whole slew of problems if we don't learn how to deal with them the right way. It can lead to poor self-esteem, eating disorders, exercise disorders. Having a negative body image can also be related to body dysmorphic disorder, depression, social anxiety. I'm gonna do an entirely separate video on each one of those topics because they encompass a lot and it's too much for this video. But back to body image and what may cause it. Um, even looking for clothes in the store can cause you to have a negative body image. So quick story. I remember one weekend I was out with my cousins and we were shopping for clothes because we were going to a party later on in the evening. And I was shopping for pants. For those of you who don't know me, um, I'm a very large man. I'm almost eight feet tall, but no, I'm just kidding. I'm 6'5", I'm but you know, finding clothes and finding shoes has always been kind of challenging when I go into the store. And this time it really wasn't any different. So we're at the mall and we're going from store to store and I'm looking for pants and I can't find anything I like. And more importantly, I can't find anything that fits right. So we leave the mall, we go from department store to that department store to this department store and I can't find anything. Eventually, we go to this one department store and I find what I needed and it was great. I got the pants, I looked good that night, and it was cool. The entire process took a few hours, like probably like three and a half to four hours to be exact. And I remember thinking to myself, damn, it's this difficult for me to find some pants? And honestly, it didn't feel good, you know, at all. And instead of thinking to myself, you know, what's wrong with the stores for, you know, not having my size because or carrying clothes for larger people, I was thinking to myself, like, damn, what the hell is wrong with me? Like, and I mentioned that story to illustrate how clothes shopping can negatively affect your body image. And I mentioned that story also to debunk the myth that negative body image only affects women. Um, it can affect men also, it just may manifest differently, i.e. steroid use amongst young men and, you know, older men. I'm going to do a separate video on that because, you know, there's a lot to talk about regarding that. So how do we solve it? I think it starts at the individual level. We may not have the power to control what Victoria's Secret deems as beautiful, but we have the power to control what we say about beauty. Now, there's also a difference between saying, I think you're getting fat, and I think you're at risk for developing diabetes or hypertension, because a lot of times, fat shaming comes under the guise of promoting health. And that's not how you promote health. That's not how you get people to want to take care of their bodies. And I'm all for promoting health. I think that we should take care of our bodies the best way that we can. For men, I think it's important that we're really mindful about what we say to women and around women regarding beauty. Now, as men, I think most of us know the rule of thumb when it comes to when your significant other asks you, well, how do I look in this dress or new outfit or whatever, you know? We all know what to say, but I think what slips our mind 
really is what to say when we're talking amongst each other, when we're talking around other women, when we're talking to our, our daughters or our sisters or our cousins and the language that we use surrounding beauty, what's beautiful. Um, I think we should be mindful that we're not trying to perpetuate some of those same ideas and same unrealistic standards. As men, I think most of us know that women have an added pressure when it comes to maintaining a particular standard of beauty. But I don't think many of us realize, and this is myself included, how pervasive and how debilitating this added pressure can be on women. So guys, we've gotta be really, really mindful of what comes out of our mouth regarding beauty because it's not just our significant others that's, that go through this. It's our sister, it's our cousin, it's our friend, it's your daughter that's gonna have to deal with these bullshit standards of beauty, who's gonna have to go out into the world and deal with all this crap coming from here and here and here and here. And you want her to be strong, you want her to be empowered, you want her to have high self-esteem. You want her to go out into this world and kick ass, you know? So let's try our best to not perpetuate some of those same standards. For women, I think it's important that you guys empower one another. Um, outside of the media, I think that some of the added pressure when it comes to maintaining standards of beauty come from woman onto women. This can be from mother to daughter, friend to friend, social media posts to the reader. And most of the time, it's probably not with any malicious intent. I don't think it's meant to hurt anybody, but a lot of times when opinions come from people you know, like your mother or your friend, um, they tend to feel more real and can have a more profound impact on somebody. So it's important in that regard, you know, when you're talking about that girl's fat or that girl's pretty or this girl looks like that, and, you know, be mindful of those things because what you say about another person may have an impact on the person that you're sitting right next to, even though you didn't mean to make that person feel some type of way. Another way to combat this issue is for us to be mindful of the images that we consume. When I say this, I mean it's important that we call bullshit when we see it. I'm not saying don't consume any media. What I'm saying is know what you're looking at when you read it. Know what you're looking at when you're scrolling through your phone. Most of these models have been photoshopped to the T, are tall, underweight, and have probably more insecurities than you do. And a lot of times, these people that we see on movies and television magazines, they look nothing like they do in person. We've all had those moments where we see somebody that is famous and we see them in person, and the first thing that comes to our mind is, holy shit, you look just as regular as me. Also, pay attention to those times where you do feel negative about your body image. Doing so can help you better navigate those times when it happens again. Also, know that we all kind of go through the same thing a little bit, right? For example, somebody may be looking at me wishing they were taller. I may be looking at them like, damn, I wish I had some hair. I'm still smooth now, but I just wish I would have held on a little longer. This joint left a while ago, man. Oh, that's, another, that's a whole other video. So that's another video. You know, you're wishing you had her butt while she's wishing she had your stomach. And we're constantly doing this back and forth to one another, but we should be empowered by who we are. Also, and I'm always gonna advocate this, talk to a friend, family member, or a professional. I will always advocate talking to a friend, family member, or a professional in probably every single one of my videos because I don't think enough people do it and understand the benefits of doing it. And finally, I think it's very, very important that we're very mindful of the messages that we convey to our children and our young people regarding standards of beauty, especially to our young girls. We've really got to make an effort to stop valuing young girls based on their outward appearance. We all mean well when we say, oh, you're so pretty, but I think we don't know the damage that, that that does. So I think we should try something new. So next time you see your niece or your little cousin, let's try something like, oh, you're so smart or you're so creative. Um, point out other things that they can have value in, that they can, you know, have great self-esteem about, you know, that would help, you know, boost their self-esteem because ultimately, ultimately I think it'll help stop 
perpetuating those same ideas regarding these standards of beauty that we try to hold women and men to, but you know, and particularly women in this case. And honestly, there's so much more to this topic, but I'm really trying to keep this short. This probably went longer than I wanted it to go. So I'm probably gonna do a part two or three, maybe four, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But um, I really wanna thank you guys for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, please like it. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment box. Um, I'm out of here. Uh, later, guys.